promising race pupil returns. Racists are generally not very good examples of their race. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. The drawings are precise and look true to their pseudo-scientific ambitions. One thing, however, it is not entirely free of throwbacks in the phylogenetic tree. His large jaw, for example, could be a trait indicative of criminalism. Also, his earlobes could be small. That atavistic stigmata makes pussy say yes plenty. Babe, thanks. But I got this. Oh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. There must be some friction there. He's keeping it well hidden, however. Mr. Claire is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital. Something your race, naivistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is not it takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. Of course you are, Levasholian man. The failure of communism to challenge the world order is the core of your race fate. All around you, the fruits of its defeat. Individualism, rock and roll music, sexually transmitted disease. Above all, rampant multinational finance still reigning large. Tell me where have you gotten your love of pathetic communism from? Degenerate youth culture? Rock and roll music? Offshoots of the Seminese people invented disco while having sex under the influence of cocaine. It is a shame upon my race. But what is done is done. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Seminese race. The South Island race, Aplo Group R4R. We are the rightful masters of the Insulindian Archipelago. We descend from the Areopagites of ancient Pericarnassus and arrived here 4,000 years ago. We are the future. That is all you need to know. I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulumbuir are with me in my genetic dreams. I see young Seminese women walk into the grey mass on Ile de Fontaine, waiting on immaculate conception from the pay. No. I have heard about it on the radio. I'm from Kuron, and no, it is not just in Levashol. 
The city is central to the Simony strategy. Spreading through its trade networks, our culture will dominate the world. You have heard enough about our phylogenetic secrets for today. You have extinction to come to terms with, and never getting into the harbor. I don't think anything about this. We are wasting our time having this conversation. Your pedomorphic friend is right. You should leave here with your tail between your legs. Contemplating race extinction, I am an immovable obstacle. Stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Rights of people. Rights of workers. To have gainful employment. To make a salary. And feed their families. His manner of speaking is wooden. The tone of voice bland and uninspired, almost as if compiling replies from a set of learned phrases. Maybe you should ask them the questions, like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. I know nothing about a murder. The mention of a killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through him. Interesting. What are you talking about? I'm not tense. Yes, he's tense. Right to work! 
It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring backup, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Why not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. Pity. Let us work! When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide to block honest work for other people. Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. He ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. Silence is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. What's it to you? No. Don't think we've met before. I came to help out the people. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain, in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell? Uh-huh. It was a long time ago. What's it to you? Big mess, caused by union greed. But I only fight for the rights of people. The man has turned his attention elsewhere. He shakes his fist slowly while observing you from the corner of his eye. Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were given a job to do! We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Main gate's locked. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. I try to get in through the secretary's office. Door is locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Yeah? That giant up there, on the bridge you talk to. Head measurer. Won't let the workers by. The access panel is right behind him. Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke, and my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Not before you get in there and get your ass whooped. Learn by failure, I always say. 
He might have some advice, but you've got to at least try to fight Mejahed first. Return if you fail. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. I haven't learned anything I didn't know before. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Whatever you say, officers. You could ask him to show you the soles of his boots. He definitely looks like someone capable of a lynching. Maybe he was present. Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. The strike? <laughs> oh, they've been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here. The strike? Oh, they've been... Apples. Apples. Is it... Look, as detective. I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular, coico picked apples. Damn, you're not gonna get more out of him on this. He's put up the wall of racism. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books, huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it.
people who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. So, lately we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. The problem? The damn kids are showing a real good game lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this, then? It's what the Kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others, too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. They say so themselves. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birth place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Don't push your luck, Runt. Looking for something, Hunt? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Oh yeah, they're a big deal. My great-grandfather was a carter. Had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. <laughs> Someone with a cart? What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches. Before machines. Sure fucking is. We have a guild and everything, huh? Very ancient. Very prestigious. God damn right. They've been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But when they try to replace us, they'll regret it. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck them right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice ain't no laughing matter. Been admiring the Stompers, Runt? For sure, I can demonstrate them. On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. It's Revachol. Custom made. Cost me a pretty penny. You'll see when the time comes, officer. True patriots carry Revachol in their very souls. Technically, you're stomping on Revachol every step you take. <laughs> I know you people don't understand poetry. Drugs? They are shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. Safre, Ilmara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight, so they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage, racial economic sabotage. Oh, I don't go for that foreign piss. Proper booze is made in Mundi. Or sometimes, I like a dram of that Yugo Grad vodka. Koikos and worse much, but they do no booze. Not in, not out. I'll never betray the purity of my tribe. 
So you're telling us that you don't know anything about drug smuggling through Terminal B? I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kips sneaking around at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. There was a bunch of spill boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. Yeah, I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags, when some Kip boys smashed his lock and took damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. Since he left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. If they were getting drunk inside the Whirling in Rags, how could they know who broke into the lorry? What? Aren't we allowed to say that he's a kips who do all the stealing around here? That's not rotor science, man. Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady eyed South Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Oh really, he's just selling his employer stuff. Stuff he stole after he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. <laughs> yes, yes. Where is he? Looks like uh, I offended your partner there. Too bad. Sealing's usually a little bit south of here, near the canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourselves. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right? What? I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Sealing himself has to say. Guess so. little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Hey there. It's the jam, my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating. An all-around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long-haul limbo for days upon days upon days upon days feels like forever like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew just me and the metal and the tires the oil and the fumes of mazout yeah imagine it's been a whole week already Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. 